team, team their, their arena, arena, even, even the dancers. dancers. Thanks, Thanks to personal, personal computers, computers, he has $8 billion, billion to, spend to spend on such toys. toys. 20, 20 years, years ago, ago, Alan and his high school friend Bill Gates, Gates were running, running a two-man two software company, company called, called Microsoft. Microsoft. Today, Today Alan is richer, richer than, than God, God, and Gates, Gates is richer than, than Alan. Alan. 20, 20 years, years ago, young men like Paul Allen and Bill Gates invented a personal computer, and in doing, doing so, so watched the revolution change the, the way we live, live work, work, and communicate. And communicate. It's hard, hard to believe that 20 years ago there were no personal computers. computers. Now, now it's the third, third largest industry in the world, world somewhere, world, somewhere between, between energy, energy production and the illegal, illegal drugs. drugs. But the most, the most amazing thing of all is that it happened by accident. accident. Because, because a bunch, a bunch of, of disenfranchised nerds, nerds wanted, wanted to impress their, their friends. friends. This, this is the story, story of how a handful of guys launched an industrial revolution, how they changed the culture of business, how they made history. I feel incredibly lucky to be at exactly the right place in Silicon Valley, at exactly the right time historically where this invention has, has, has taken, taken form. form. It wasn't, it wasn't like, like we both thought, thought it was going to go a long way. It, it was like, like we both do it for fun. fun. And even and though we're going to lose some money, money probably, probably, we'll just, just have been able to say we had a company. company. All, All of us would get, get together, together and just hope we were right that the PC, PC would become, become a big thing. thing. You know, you know I thought, wow, wow, the PC really has become part of the very fabric of the way people live. And we certainly surged with it. I just stopped and said, hmm. Pretty, Pretty incredible ride. Most of these people come from the place I call home, the Silicon Valley south of San Francisco, California. Growing up here near the electronics companies that give the place its name, these founders of the PC revolution were, for the most part, middle class white kids from good suburban homes. But it's not their homes we're interested in, it's their garages. This is my garage, and this is all my junk. I'm probably one of the few guys in Silicon Valley who actually has room in his garage for a car. Most everyone else seems to use theirs to start computer companies and create great fortunes. But I don't have a fortune. I'm a failure. I've written computer programs that almost ran, and I've designed and built hardware devices that frankly didn't work at all. But I'm the ideal guy to tell the story of the personal computer business because I'm its premier gossip columnist. And everyone tells me all their secrets. Hello. And, and this is my home, where I write a gossip column for a computing magazine. Sorry about the mess. Institutions in constant change like the PC industry are driven by rumor and gossip, and I thrive on both. My electronic mail address is deluged with inside information about everything from product flaws to who's sleeping with whom. What ties these gossipers together is a desire for truth. 